Hey YouTube, it's Abby again, and today I'm going to show you how I broom and sweep and use a dustpan using only five fingers and my paw. But Abby, how do you do stuff? Like, because you only have one arm. My friend Alexis and I, Alexis from Stump Kitchen, check out her YouTube channel, have been doing this challenge thing back and forth on Facebook. Hi Abby! Under sheet! Basically, we just challenge each other if, how do you do this with one hand? Okay, how do you do this with one hand? And so we've been going back and forth and it's super fun. So using a broom and a dustpan. And sweeping the stuff into the dustpan. What do you do? Tell me your secrets. So in, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use a broom and a dustpan and sort of that kind of thing with only five fingers and my paw. So here I have my broom. Is it just me or is it a little hot in here? It's actually hot in here. It's really hot here. It's really hot outside. In here it's okay, but I'm still a little warm. Okay, so basically what I do is I hold the broom with my hand like this and I support it with my paw like this and I just do a sweeping motion. It's not terribly complicated. In fact, you could probably do it with one hand as well. Just use your elbow. I decided that for this little experiment, I'm gonna just put mashed potato flakes all over the floor so that you can see clearly how I do it because this floor is actually pretty clean, so <laughs> Look at the mess I've made. And sweeping motion. All right, sweeping, sweeping. At this point, at this point, I'm gonna show you how I get it into the pan, which involves my foot. Gotta put my foot down on the pan to keep it stable. Okay, and then right in, scoot it back so I can get the rest of the little bits until it's completely gone, pretty much gone. All right, check that out, all the potato flakes. Well, this has been how I use a broom and a dustpan using only five fingers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you get a chance to check out the rest of my channel. If you are curious about how I do something else with only five fingers, leave a comment below. I'd love to respond and maybe even make the next video to show you how I do that. And of course, as always, don't forget to subscribe.